What's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna do something a little bit different we're gonna actually make a tier list as you can read from the title of all new ldsp plugins so i always get a ton of questions what new ldsp plugin are you currently using which one is your favorite and things like that today we're gonna answer all those questions and finally see what is the best new ldsp plugin not gonna lie they're obviously really really good all of them so even the ones that are gonna be at the bottom of this list they're still good plugins but we're gonna try to see at least for my personal taste what is the best make sure you check the description for the free stuff free toolkit free training everything in the description and let's get into it all right pretty sure i have all of them here so we're gonna start with the abasi okay so this plugin is definitely unique and we're gonna start strong and we're gonna give this an the A tier and this is what this is actually one of my favorite plugins but the reason why I'm not putting it higher than A well it's a great plugin of course but I feel like you only have a couple sounds that are really really good for this I usually use this for like very crystal clean type of sounds so because you have that very very cool blend function so you can blend the DI with the amp within the plugin sometimes I do that with like external routing but you can actually do that within the plugin which is really really good and so for clean sounds I feel like this is really really good I go back to this a lot especially for clean sounds distortion parts so like the amp 2 and 3 you know th there's better amps for distortion within the, the new DSP roster I guess I do use the lead quite a bit you know it's very fusion-y like very liquid sounding which is really good. The app 2 with this one is like, you get that like very aggressive bite, which is great if you, if you wanna use like split coil type of sounds. I would use this for that. Or like, you know, very high gain, um, high gain rhythm, which is something that I don't really use a lot. So that's why I don't really use this plugin for those sounds. But I gotta say the the tight function is, so the tight knob on the second amp is actually really, really good for, you know, very aggressive, genty types of rhythm. So I feel like this is a solid A. And then let's move on. This is, I believe, the Douglas pedal. So I'm gonna put this in B tier. This is not actually an amp sim, but it's still a really, really solid plugin for mixing. I guess especially if you're a ba bass player, maybe you would rate this higher. But you know, for me personally, this is just a very good mixing tool. But so it's nice to have, but it's not like um, amazing. You know, actually, I'm gonna move it to C because I, I have this, but like I, I use it like every once in a while. Not because it's bad, it's just you know, it's not something that you you would use a lot. Anyway, moving on. 14 Kali. So I'm gonna give this the C tier. Not because it's bad. Again. I don't really think there's bad plugins in here, but it's definitely got power crept in a way by the, by the new releases. So the fact that we don't have any pedals, any effects, is definitely a really, really big downside in my opinion. If you look at like the, the new releases from New DSP, they all have so much stuff. So this one, I feel like it's very much power crept in some way. So the amp does sound really good, really realistic. Um, you can get a lot of different tones with uh, out of this, but yet it is not crazy versatile like the newer ones or again the fact that you don't have effects it's not amazing but the amp does sound good so you know, you know what this might be like b tier like bottom b like top c not sure Let, let's see if let's see now but i guess this could be a b tier but, but yeah the um, the amp you know i've used this quite a bit and you get a lot of like really good dynamic response out of this so it sounds really good archetype gojira This is another C tier. <laughs> yeah, um, so personal opinion, I don't really like this one. I've tried it, I've used it a little bit, but like I don't really see a use for, for this plugin. Of course, it's just personal taste, right? Um, you, you gotta also take into account that I don't really use like super heavy distorted rhythm tones. And I feel like this plugin could be really good for that purpose. But for me, yeah, just never use this honestly moving on this is the omega what's it called ground of fire d tier this is the, the one that i probably like the least out of <laughs> all new dsp plugins again just personal opinion uh i just never found a, a purpose for this uh, again it might be that maybe i don't play like death metal stuff or like any super like crazy distorted uh rhythm tones but even for that honestly like there's better plugins for rhythm guitar i think so yeah not a big fan never really used it a lot okay tim henson Ooh, this one is tough 
feel like I'm gonna give this the A tier. Definitely the most beautiful looking plugin out of all of these just aesthetically looks amazing and I absolutely love how every amp looks at the same time it sounds really good and it has a lot of versatility plus in this one we, we have the the like the harmonizer like cool vocoder side thing that you hear a lot in polyphia music so so obviously if you're a fan of polyphia this one is a must have it will make you sound very close to him granted you won't sound like him because you're not probably as good as him but we can all dream right and this plugin definitely gives you that dream so that bridge into the polyphia sound so for that for that reason is actually really really good and again it's pretty versatile you can get a lot of different tones out of this the effects are amazing and you have a lot of options just like all the other newer uh, plugins so like this could be like bottom s tier honestly like very very top A tier. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the Nameless. So Nameless, I feel like, just like we said for the 14 Kali, I'm gonna probably put it in C tier. So let's just put this like bottom B tier and this top C tier. Um, maybe like this. I feel like the Gujira is a bit better. So yeah, the Nameless. Again, we have one tone basically out of this. It sounds good, but you know, just one one tone. If you compare it to like the newer plugins, once again it's you know it, it doesn't really hold up in my opinion so pretty good plugin uh really good for obviously rhythm tones and that that's pretty much it like there's you can only get pretty much one tone out of this archetype nolly in my opinion right this is my tier list this is an s tier this is probably one of the plugins that i use the most on a daily basis it doesn't particularly sound better than uh, let's say the newer plugins like the Petrucci or the Tim Henson, but the versatility and the, I don't know, just the, that realistic feel that it gives me, for me is just the best one. And I, I use this like every every time. Um, definitely for leads, any anytime you hear me playing a lead, like distorted lead, it's 99% of the time in this plugin. Um, yeah, it has clean sounds, it has effects, it has really good distortion, really good feel. So yeah, this is probably what I use 99% of the time. I don't really like Honestly, the amp four. I never use that one, even though it has some applications. Like if you if you're into like high gain lead sounds, it's really good for that. But what I use the most is the amp two and the fifty two one fifty, which is probably one of the best sounding emulation of that plugin. So if you if you want like rhythm tone, like you know classic high gain metal uh, or modern metal rhythm tones, I feel like this plugin really de delivers one of the best. Uh, one of the best tones so i feel like this plugin really delivers one of the best tones for that application so yeah definitely really really good clean amp is good um you know i like the the option to have effects and distortion and there's also the delay in front of the amp so we definitely have the flex uh, flexibility that we're getting with like you know the petrucci or you know all the other plugins so yeah this is really good probably like a tier but like for me s tier just because um just because i use it all the time. Uh, okay, NTS again, C tier. Probably a little bit better than what's it called, the nameless. But still, like very few tones that you can get out of this. I believe this one also doesn't have the, the effects, like the nameless. It sounds really good. Like, don't don't get me wrong. If you're looking for that type of like rhythm sound, this does it really well. But again, just because of the lack of versatility and the, the I guess the power creep of like the newer releases, I feel like this you know this is just a just a C tier. Parallax. Okay, this one, I'm gonna give it the, the B tier. So just like the Dark Glass, this is more like a mixing tool, but this is like really, really good. Like if you're looking to get bass tones, this is just amazing. Like I remember when, when it came out, it was just like so easy to get that like really good sounding prog metal type of ba bass tone. And you know, the fact that is everything in one box, you don't have to like split tracks and you know, go crazy with like all the, the routings and like the, the parallel tracks. Just for this reason and the time that can save you in a, in a mixing session or in a, in a production session, just for that reason, this is an amazing plugin. So just B tier because again, it's just a mi for me, it's more like a mixing tool or like a, a production tool, I guess, obviously from, from a guitar player perspective. So I'm not going to use this one a lot, but you know, anytime I, I need a bass tone this is most likely gonna be my choice archetype petrucci one of the recent ones okay guys so this is without any doubt the s tier this plugin is probably this is like the nolly but even better first of all it gives you absolutely everything like you, you, you even have a metronome like what 
what the hell you have like every possible effect you you may need and also the ones that you don't need like flanger as far as amps and tones like you can pretty much with this plugin you can get any tone you want and just for that incredible versus versatility i'm gonna give it this the s tier like you can even even like the weirdest tones you can imagine you can you can do them with this and we even have I think this is unique for this plugin, the room mic. So the possibility to blend like room uh, IRs, I guess, for for like the in the cabinet section, which is absolutely amazing. Makes the rhythm guitar feel so much more real. Um, so yeah, like overall, this is just an amazing plugin. The effects sound amazing, both the like the time effects and also the distortion, the compression, like everything just sounds top tier. It's probably one of the best releases i believe from new ldsp still sounds very realistic it is one thing about the newer plugins they they, they just sound better than previous releases just because i guess they're improving their technology and they like their uh, machine learning or like who knows so obviously the newer plugins are going to sound better than the older plugins at least in my opinion if you want to buy one plugin from new ldsp i guess this one is probably the better choice just because of the amount of options that it gives you all right moving on we have the Pliny. Oh man, how the mighty has fallen. Uh, okay, this is difficult. I feel like I want to give this the A tier, but like realistically, this is, a, this, is, this is a B tier now. Just because of how much power crept it got from the new releases. This was, I believe, one of the first archetype plugins, if I remember correctly. Uh, the first one that I got. Back then, it, it sounded amazing. Like, when, when was it like? two or three years ago uh, it sounded absolutely amazing blew out every every other plugin company in my opinion so very revolutionary plugin um, today not gonna lie it compared to especially you know something like the Petrucci or like the, the Hanson sounds a bit fake not gonna lie you don't have that realistic feel that dynamic feel that you get from even like Denali which is not too far as far as release but Denali was like incredibly better uh, as far as response so yeah in the current meta of newer dsp plugins this is probably not the best choice for what it represents this i feel like this is just so important for like amp simulation in general like the world of amp sims for guitar this was definitely a turning point so we need to respect the the plenty plugin for that and also i use this like pretty much all the time um for one tone only and, and it is my like low gain uh, type of tone and most of the time it's, it's this one it's either this one or the nolly uh, but a lot of times it's just this one just because it has like i don't know the amp 2 when you, you when you put it like at low gain settings just have a very unique type of sound that i wasn't able to recreate in the other plugins or i was able to do that but not like it, it wasn't the same for some for some reason so yeah this one still has really great tones I feel like the when you do like leads or like rhythm guitars, I feel like especially rhythm guitars, they don't sound too realistic. Still sounds good, but just not as realistic as, you know, let's say the, the Nolly or the Tim Hanson, Pajucci. Moving on, Rabia. This one, I'm gonna give it the A tier. Once again, we, we do have a ton of options. We even have like a synth, which is unreal. I didn't spend honestly too much time with this plugin. I figured that you, you can get like crazy tones, just like the Petrucci one. To me, this doesn't sound as good, at least for my taste, as the Petrucci one. Maybe if I, maybe I gotta spend more time just dialing in tones with this. Uh, but just as a first impression, didn't sound as good as the um, Petrucci. And they do, I feel like they, they want to do like not similar things, but this was released, I believe, after the Petrucci. So like they, they share the same type of construction. So this has a lot of options, just like the Petrucci one. But again, uh, like I didn't really find a use for uh, all the different amps. I feel like the Team Hansen is better than this one though. I would probably choose the Team Hansen before this. In this order, I think it works. Soldano. Uh, this is another one of my favorites. Um, like bottom S tier, I'm gonna put it in the in A tier. Just because it's not as overpowered as like the Petrucci one. But but yeah, this one I like it a lot. Uh, I feel like it's kind of has a lot of similar applications as the Nolly one or at least for me I, u I use it like uh, I'm either using the Nolly plugin or this one and mostly for leads there's some lead presets that I have on, on the Soldano that just sound really really good not a big fan of like also the rhythm tone sounds incredible as well so like if you like you know just um, high gain but not like metal distortion like more like basically just crunchy tones like this is great for that so like, if you're doing rock music more towards i guess the the rock 
spectrum rather than metal this one is definitely a solid solid pick i feel like you won't get the like very modern progressive type of metal sound out of this you definitely can like you can get really any tone you want with any plugin but with that said the thing that you're probably gonna get best out of this is like rock tones okay next we have the tone key so this is really good i feel like i'm gonna give this um either like top b or like bottom a tier probably a tier just just because of how close it sounds and how realistic it sounds but i'm not a big fan of this type of tones uh, you know this sound very like vintage classic might also be because i'm using this with your bass guitars and um, i guess maybe if you plug like a strat into this it's gonna sound probably a lot more appropriate but if you're into like more vintage more like classic tones and on a related note the cory wong um i'm gonna put this in b tier just because it's like i feel like this one the tone king is, is a better version of the cory wong for some ways like there are some unique features you know you find in the Cory Wong I guess you need to use like you, you have to play those genres to appreciate what this plugin has to offer uh, I don't personally play those type of styles you know this could be really good for like funk or again vintage tones which you know I very rarely use so yeah I'm gonna put this like here maybe you do get a really uh, nice like mid gain type of tone out of like I believe the M3 which sounds very realistic so I really like that about this plugin but apart from that I wouldn't use it for like anything else because once again I don't play those music genres alright guys so that's pretty much my tier list feel free to disagree in the comments I'm actually curious to see what you think about this but yeah you know at the end of the day keep in mind this tone is actually in your fingers I really believe in this so don't obsess too much on gear like it's cool to get you know a couple new plugins here and then a couple new pedals if you're into like actual gear and not like fake stuff but again at the end like you need to get better at the instrument that is really the only way you can improve your sound on the guitar and so on that note make sure you check the links in the description for the free training free resources and all you know the free stuff you can download to get your playing to the next level and yeah guys that's pretty much it for me let me know what you think of this kind of different than usual video and i'll see you guys in the next one